Hello, in this video we'll talk about the importation of external references to be used in DDSCAD. I'll especially talk about the importation of DWG files. Before we import the files to DDSCAD, we highly recommend that these files are copied to the project folder. This will prevent that we lose this file somehow. To do so, we come to the menu Insert, External Source, and copy files to project folder. Then we search for the file. In this case, I will come to this hybrid model and I'll copy this ground floor. This message indicates the file has been copied from this first directory to the second one. We just click OK. Important to know that the external reference is just imported to the active model. In this case, it's the architecture ground floor level 1. To import an external reference to this model, I come to the menu insert, external resource, and I will select which type of file I would like to import. In this case, it's a DWG. DDSCAD already opens the explorer in the project directory, and I will double click the DWG I have copied to this, to this folder. In the insert file dialog, we have some options here to directly import the file to DDSCAD. It could be positioned dynamically or automatically adjust the lower left corner of insert. But in this case, I would like to open this file in the DWG editor before I import to this model. To do so, I come to the button Open in New Window. DDSCAD already indicates in the Explorer that it has opened the DWG editor. Some nice features we have here in the DWG editor is to change the drawing origo. To do so, we click on this option, pick a new origo for the drawing. And in this case, I will indicate the lower left corner. And we click OK here. Next, if I zoom in for, to show only what I would like to import, I can use the function select all objects completely outside current zoom window. By selecting this option, if I zoom out, we'll see all the objects which were completely outside the zoom window are selected. Now I could simply press the delete key and they are removed. Now to save this new drawing, I come to apply DWG DXF changes. And if I would like to keep the original DWG file and just save as, I would select this last option and click OK. And now I can save with another name. This newly saved file is just inserted in, in the active model. If I would like to see all the, the external references I have inserted in this model, I come to Import Model Manager. And in the tab Imported Files, we see here the list of imported files. In the column Show, I can click on the eye icon to turn on or turn off the external reference.